Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Oz with 337 rating versus Yamahan with 690 rating, and let's go ahead and hop right in, so we are going to see Yamahan win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and then they're going to decide to go first, 43 versus 40, opening hands, we have upstart, starter, destruction, nib, and smashers, they have dispelling, blue, starter, flashing, and super poly, so we're going to have runic sprite going up against what it looks like to be runic sprite but this player is playing like upstar uh I, I think nibs like gonna be really awkward soon um i'm gonna go ahead and activate starter starter bring out jet and then jet effect go search and that's probably just gonna grab smashers you know then special blue blue effect go search and then blue go grab red overlay into the gigantic and then Gigantic Effect, Detach, Go Special, Bring Out Swap Frog. Okay, so we're playing the, the frog cards too, so we're trying to, you know, go ahead and end on Double Toad. Activate Flashing, Summon Out Fusion, Fusion Effect, Discard Super Poly, Go Grab Fountain, and then link those off into an Elf. Special Summon Out the Red, and then Elf Effect, Bring Out Swap Frog. Now we can overlay those into Totally Awesome. Activate the Field Spell, Set Smashers, Set Dispelling. And then pass turn. They draw slumber. Um, so you may wonder why set both. It's probably just because like if you set one and you activate fountain, right? Then they know that the card set is smashers and the card in hand is a runic spell. Where now they don't know like which one is which, but they can assume that there is a runic spell plus smashers, but they don't know where it is. So we're gonna go ahead and go main phase, upstairs. So you know they can't just like Oh, well, I'm going to MST target smashers. Let's just get rid of it. Uh, draw on the freezing. And then they're going to activate dispelling. Uh, if you read this card, it doesn't say uh, like the draw thing. If your opponent adds a card from the deck to hand, except during the draw phase. So it's not just like, you know, except by drawing or anything like that. Uh, they said chain. Uh, they're going to go ahead and chain the MST. Uh, not quite sure what their target was there. Uh, activated it, pointed at Fountain, they're going to chain Toad on it, and then they're thinking they're going to chain Slumber to Special Summon, so bring out the Fusion, Chain Resolves, they're going to take and set that, this is going to discard a card from their hand. Okay, so this will hit, so just pick a card, just pick a card, just pick a card. Okay, so I hit Smashers, and then make them Banish. Okay, it hits an Angler there. Uh, Angler's really good with runic cards. And then new Chain Link. We're going to get Fusion Effect. Chain Link 1. Chain Link 2 Fountain. Chain Link 3 Toad. Grab back Swap Frog. Then put back to the bottom of the deck and draw. Draw on the Flashing and Nib. And then they get to search their Fountain on Resolution. We could go Elf Target Toad. It'd probably be a pretty good play. Yeah, effect, bring back. Because even if they have something, like, even if they freezing curses, it's fine. Because you'd rather have them freezing curses elf now rather than a few seconds from now when they're going to activate fountain and then have the opportunity to draw. Because uh, then obviously, like, you wouldn't want them drawing, so you'd have to smash the field spell. That's, like, a whole other thing. So, starter, bring out blue. Okay, cool. Now, toad comes out. Now, you're going to activate your blue effect. And then in response, chain toad, get rid of swap frog to try to negate and set it. Uh, they're going to go ahead and use that so that way it won't be set because it's not being destroyed. And then activate fountain, activate freezing to special summon. Go ahead, bring that out. And then fountain effect, chain smashers. And then smashers is going to go ahead and deal with that. Okay. Uh, overlay, make gigantic, gigantic effect, and then we can chain flashing fire to that. So moving on to the next game now, we're going to go ahead and we are going to see Oz be going first. Opening hands, we have tip, red, tip, fountain, slumber. They have tip, reaper, pancreatops, freezing, and fountain. Yeah, reaper is just going to get more and more popular probably. Um, pretty, it's a pretty good card. Um, it's been pretty decent, but if more people, it really, I don't see, I guess it depends, like, how people start playing, right? Um, this is always good versus Sprite, like, 
you know, if you always hit Elf, like, it really hurts their follow-up. You hit Gigantic to stop them from summoning a certain one from deck. It's not as important now as it was before, because before people, like, every list had Swap Frog in it, and everyone was going for Toad. But now some people are just, like, Gigantic, summon Ippera, draw one, and, like, it doesn't really matter that much. Like, I'd rather just, like, hit Elf at that point. So this card could become better, I guess, depending on, like, what people start playing, and also, like, how people decide to play tier. Oh, we're going to go main phase to activate tips. Should activate this in draw phase. Plays round draw and lockbird. Go grab freezing and then make him banish one. Uh, looks like both the runic players forgot to make him banish one. And then they're going to activate the effects. Oh, the banish one hit carrot. That's just, a, it's like such a big hit. It's such a big hit. Um, so they're going to activate the effects. Chain ghost reaper revealing gigantic. So they're going to have to banish. Okay, so... They only play one Gigantic. I'm... What? This list definitely plays more, right? Also, wasn't wasn't the chain like one fountain, chain like two fusion? Hey, 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 sec, bro, first show me your extra deck, later I have a big dude. Bro, but you did everything wrong. Yeah, they need to go... Wait. Oh, it's the Fusion Chain Link 1, Fountain Chain Link 2. Okay. What? Yeah, so they did it correct then. I guess the only thing they didn't show their extract, but, like, who cares? Like, let them draw three and then show the extract. Who cares? We draw Beaver, Fountain, Beaver. Um... Okay. And then... Oh, uh, we can't resolve. We only play the two Field Spell. Uh, the two Beaver draws could be really funny depending on how many nimble monsters they play they might play three beaver three angler just because like angler is really good and then your deck doesn't have a normal summon so then like you know beaver just is your normal summon so special red beaver beaver bring out angler you like always do that whenever you play that forgot no gigantic yeah they tried overlaying uh, so they're just going to link off then, go in the elf, elf effects, summon back out the beaver. And then go on the pit night early and pass turns. So on their turn, we have a draw two plus interruption through tip and banish a few cards off their deck. Uh, we have pit night early negate. We have red negate. We have elf summon back random body. Yeah, we don't really have, like, any sprites in rotation. Oh, they draw Miri. Okay, so they're playing tier element stuff. I actually tried the uh, the tier sprite runic deck, but the, the lack of going second cards really hurt my soul. I was playing a really small tier package, though. They, they might be, too, since they haven't... Like, that was the first one we saw, so maybe... Maybe we just uh, haven't seen them. We're going to activate Fountain, activate Tip, and then they're going to chain Tip. So, go search destruction, banish one. So, you banish before searching. Yup. Next time or whatever. Yup. So, oh my gosh, they hit red this time! Yo, 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 that's insane! You just hit, like... That's so much. That's actually so much that you just hit from your opponent. So, both searches are going to happen, and then they're going to activate the MST on Fountain. They're going to chain the MST on Fountain. They're going to chain Freezing to Special Summon. So, go ahead, bring that out, and it's going to protect from the MST. And their MST goes through. Uh, we're going to see Storm, you know, Smashers is hit. And then... New chain link, fountain effect, and this is just resolving. Yeah, they have nothing to stop. Fountain draw three, so after forcing a lot, they're going back up to five cards in hand after dropping a hand trap turn one. We have blue, freezing, flashing off of that. Well, I was going to say, we've already used freezing, but flashing we haven't, so we're going to use it to target elf. Elf effect, bring out beaver, and that's now going to make the pit knight early not do anything either. Um... Because this is going to be gone now. We didn't have anything that we could just like bring back and put here. Like a carrot. A carrot would have been really good. Because 
your opponent activates a spell, you can go like carrot, tribute red, negate it, chain pit knight, try to negate something. Uh, we're gonna hit Gale Dogger off the top, so it looks like we are just playing the Elijah deck. Um, and then special summon Pinkertops. Pinkertops effect, tribute, target red, chain red, tribute off a of beaver to stop it, normal Miri, Miri effect, mill. And then just hits, you know, some runic cards off that, which is very good because it's going to make fountain more valuable. And then special blue, blue effect. I mean, they just win, right? Like now they're like really far ahead. Special jet, jet effect, go search starter. And then overlay, make gigantic, gigantic effect. Now they could make a mistake. They could summon a monster here and activate its effect, like bring out elf, elf effect, and you'd be like, oh, cool, pit knight negate, haha, <laughs> nice, you played yourself. Uh, effect, bring out Gale Dagra, and then, yeah, they're gonna admit defeat. Um, you know, Gale Dagra, send kit, kit mill five, hit runic cards, fountain, draw cards, Gale Dagra, send Garua, draw a card, yada yada. Uh, but they are playing more than like one starter in their deck, they're playing like many, many starters. Um, so I wonder if they just like, I don't know, maybe it's just like only use one, but the other one's just like dead after turn one. I guess if you like already have the second one, maybe you just like, you know, use your Gale Dogger a little bit differently. Uh, but we're going to see GG's, GG's. So we're going to see the tier runic sprite deck beat the runic sprite deck here. Uh, I mean, it's not like the tiers did anything. I mean, the only tier that did anything was like Normal Miri, Mill 3, that didn't actually do anything, and then Special Sprite. I mean, Milling Runic cards is definitely good. Like, M Milling 2, like, on the next turn, like, every turn from here on out, you're going to be drawing way more cards than you would have because of that Mill, but it's, it's not like it was needed to win. Uh, this opponent was pretty far behind and we were able to combo we have our runic stuff set up they don't they have to top deck our runic quick play spell to even have a chance at getting their fountain rolling and if one player has like all the runic stuff moving very well and the other player doesn't and they're already a little bit behind it's gonna be way too tough but we're gonna see if the match was only about 24 minutes long which makes sense and with all that being said the db grinders signing off peace have a nice day stay safe